Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome once again, dear viewers, to Discover Islam, the English language Islamic chat show coming to you from Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates. We have with us today as our guest an old friend, Ahmed Hamid. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa rahman. Now, uh, I last saw you, uh, as it happens, um, you know, you were involved in this uh, Dawa workshop thing. Right. I'm a bit suspicious of the word workshop. It reminds me of left-wing organizations. But um, what is it? What are, what are its aims? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Well, Jazakallah khair once again, and it's always a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, well, the aims and the objectives of Da'wah workshop are many, uh, but just to mention a few. Number one, it is aimed to create the need and importance of uh, you know Da'wah uh, in the minds and the hearts of especially the youth because it is the youth that can bring the revolution. And alhamdulillah, in this workshop, we have about 40 youngsters, brothers, and uh, about 25 uh, sisters. Mm. And uh, all of them are from you know, different countries. There are about 10 nationalities that we are talking about and addressing mm. to. So it is important for us to uh, make them understand the need and the importance of da'wah as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in surah Baqarah surah number 2 and number 143 that and thus have we made you an ummah justly balanced that you might be witness over the nations and the apostle of Allah Muhammad peace be upon him will be witness over you so we come to know out of this ayah that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him alhamdulillah he has done his job and he has made his nation the ummah responsible on others, on the non-Muslims. So it is our objective to make our Muslim brothers understand and realize that it is a high time that we must get involved in da'wah so that we correct ourselves and it's, it's the best practice that we have seen uh, that by correcting others or by sharing the knowledge of Islam, they correct uh, themselves. So it, it is always better that we do this kind of uh, activity. So, for example, we come across the participants, you know, coming back to us saying that, you see, they say that you don't have a beard. How can you promote Islam? <laughs> so they get, you know, it hits their hearts. So uh, they come back and they, they realize that they should do these kind of, uh, you know, principles and they follow it. So it's a two-way, uh, you know, uh, sword, mashallah. Yeah. So this is the first primary objective that they must understand and realize the importance of it. And they should carry on the legacy of the prophets. As we know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, La nabiya ba'da. There is no nabi after me. Mm -hmm. So who's going to carry up this noble task? We have to do that. So first objective is they should understand and realize it. And the second objective is they should have the knowledge for which you know they can use for doing da'wah like for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Yusuf surah number 12 and number 108 say O Muhammad peace be upon him hadihi sabili this is my way ad'u ila Allah I invite you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala basira with certain knowledge ana wa mani tabani I and those who follow me they do the same so Knowledge is the basic element for them to invite uh, to Islam, to others. So it is essential for them, and this is the uh, primary objective again, one of the primary objectives, to make them understand the knowledge of Islam. Third objective is to keep them practice. You know, whatever they learn, whatever little that they learn, they will basically practice on it. So throughout the schedule of the workshop, they will practice on it, and it becomes you know, their second nature. So after going out also, they carry out the same, inshallah. Uh, the last one is basically the techniques. The techniques that we basically give them is very, very essential in bringing out, you know, uh, awareness of Islam in the world. 
So these are the primary objectives, of the, but of course, the propagation, the da'wah, is mainly the objective of this workshop. And it is so interactive that people love it, they get entertainment out of it, and they become one of those, insha'Allah, bi'idhanillah, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Fusilat, Surah number 41, Ayah number 33, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِهُمْ وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ So who is better in speech than the one who invites people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and does righteous <coughs> deeds and says, I'm of the Muslims. Right. So these are the primary objectives that we are aiming at. Yeah, yeah, it sounds noble. Do you have a set syllabus or do you make it up as you go along? Oh yes, uh, we have uh, a set syllabus. I mean, alhamdulillah, we go in an organized way. Uh, we have made this syllabus at least two months before the, the program. Mm -hmm. And the syllabus includes at least two weeks of interviews. Alhamdulillah, in this part of the region where people are so busy in their own schedules, mm. they took out time and they did give interviews two weeks before. You mean you graded them? Uh, we graded them. Sifted them. Exactly. Yeah, we yeah. had about 120 people uh -huh. interviewed. But alhamdulillah, we, we selected the best. That does not mean that they are not better, but they were close to the criteria that we have set for this program. Mm. So there are 40 uh, from the brother's side, as I said, and 25 in the sister's side. We have interviewed them and rounds of interviews. Mm. What, what they basically have the interest in dawah, their knowledge, their English skill set, these are the, some of the criteria that we have set so that we don't have to, you know, uh, reinvent the wheel and do, you know, from the basics. So these are the uh, aims that we uh, set even before we start the program. So we sketch the, uh, the, the, uh, the syllabus in such a way that it covers overall aspect of Islam. I mean, the basics, of course, uh, we don't talk about huge knowledge, but then whatever is required and what, whatever can be used we have uh, made that as a syllabus for, for it. How do you do this? Do you divide it up into categories of people you may meet? Christians, Hindus, exactly. atheists? Exactly. Uh, so one uh, day we dedicate it for you know, the basic concepts of Islam and about Quran, about Muhammad Islam. And the second we, we focus only on the Christianity. The third day we focus on the Hinduism. Fourth day we focus on the atheism. So be, these are the basic concepts we were where we make divisions and we try to uh, share with, with them, basically. Because I imagine the Hindu aspect would be much more useful in India than here. Correct. But uh, uh, as a matter of fact, so many Indians are here <coughs> and so many non-Muslims uh, expatriates are here. So it's easier for them to, to interact with uh, the colleagues or with the neighbors and so on and so forth. Uh, what kind of schedule do you have, Hamid? You know, because obviously people are working or studying, and right. they only have weekends. Do you, do you have long hours? Yeah, basically, as you rightly said, uh, uh, people would not be able to spare their weekdays. So we have set this on Fridays, and Friday being a holiday for them, they sacrifice their sleep, of course. And the, the schedule is a bit long because it's weekly once. So we had to convince them, convey them, and make them understand the importance of it, and w w for which, alhamdulillah, they have agreed. And it's a, it starts basically from 8.30 in the morning, wow. and uh, it goes up till 6. So yeah. it, it's uh, that uh, long, basically. A couple of hours we take out for Jama'a Salah and uh, lunch, of course. So we give short breaks, 10, 15 minutes breaks, but it's a, it's a long, uh, complete it day very program. It's intensive, yeah. It is, mm -hmm. it is, it is. But it is very less when we compare our Dawah training program, which was for 21 days consecutively, where we have the starting time 9 o'clock, and there was no ending time. I mean, so we, signed, <laughs> we signed the agreement. Yes, I remember you telling Yeah, me, I was yeah. mentioning in the last yeah. uh, discussion, there was no ending time at all. But then we cannot implement the same thing, oh, you know, yeah. uh, in, in the rest of the place. So we had to make it the end time, six o'clock and the, the starting time uh, eight thirty in the morning right now everybody knows each other don't they they yeah. they do they do yeah. and they they love each other basically especially i uh, alhamdulillah the, the the love of muslims towards new muslims is more we have more uh, more than about three three to four new muslims converts uh, yeah. converts mm -hmm. basically so uh, they're uh, they're more lovable to the muslim <laughs> brothers they, they like them for uh, 
many reasons alhamdulillah and they they welcome them they they cooperate and help them basically so uh, how many weeks does it go on it basically goes for uh, in the current one that we are doing it's for 5 weeks so every friday it started uh, you know the 15th of may and it will go until 12th of june so it's 5 week once in a week every friday from morning till evening mm -hmm. i see and uh, everyone staying the course you had no dropouts we had it's it's natural that uh, we will have droplets uh, but, you know we, we have about uh, uh, five to six people leaving the program uh, because of their own valid reasons. Uh, 